this video I'm just going to show you a Picasa. I'm not going to show you all the features of Picasa because it's one that's got quite a lot of features. But um, today I've been uh, trying to create a, a collage of lots and lots of files, about 15,000 files in different folders. And after lots and lots of going through lots of different applications, I have to say that Picasa actually became the easiest way of quickly doing it. I've just had so much fun with lots of i'm not going to mention other names of other products but lots of but this one ultimately was actually the one that actually proved to be very very useful and very quick and easy to use and created the files exactly in the way that i wanted them which is the key thing right i've got a folder here and i'm not going to show you obviously the 15,000 files but uh, it's so you can just basically select files very quick and easy just got various designs here and so i'm just going to select that now you could just stop at that point. Of course, you can <laughs> haven't done anything. I've actually just gonna, you could publish it to Blogger, etc. Make a movie for it. Really useful as well for like YouTube or whatever. But this was the area that was proved actually quite useful for today because what picture collage and Picasso is a free application, which is really really useful. So straight away there, you've got a picture collage very nicely. You can actually edit the collage as well. You can move it around. You don't have to stick with what's uh, been designed which is really quite nice so that's all the various files you can and then of course can quickly export that to a, a page on your website say quite easy if you've got some great designs that you uh, just want to put quickly put out there's also a selection of different uh, things like the picture pile it's the first one mosaic which is quite nice just comes up with the mosaic obviously the more pictures you've got the better the mosaic is a few gaps there you can change the background etc grid spacing modify that quite nice obviously draw shadow as well so you've got shadows for each of these things pictures also you can go to frame mosaic which is another one which creates a sort of like very big frame and then small ones all the way around the edges again you can modify the various background draw shadows etc and you can move things around as well which is quite nice okay and one I well, I didn't use that one, but grid. That's another. That's very useful. That was useful for the fifteen thousand pictures. Well, one below actually con contact sheets I used, but uh, grid would have been exactly the same. Grid or contact sheet basically just produce shows you a little bit. You can save that to a file, so you can say create collage. So you just say click create collage, and there it is. You've actually got the collage saved. Not only that, you can actually just go over here, and you can say apply various effects so you can got that one but I can go for sepia warmify some of the names are not so great graduated tint then just applies a nice little effect to which you can of course modify in different ways so just, and there's various blurs cinema scope 1960s look pencil sketch so you can basically turn all the pictures in that into a pencil sketch which is quite nice and these are some of these I'm really not certain why Photoshop hasn't introduced a sort of very quick and easy little section in their application as well as many other applications just for this sort of just very simple task I know there's Photoshop elements and that's got a lot of those sort of features and that is one application I didn't try for creating but I always struggle with some of the, the browsers on they just they work in a particular way they have their way of doing it which is great but this actually just worked perfectly and produced the files really quickly, generated the JPEG files, and then I could accumulate, combine them into a PDF document, which was just perfect. As I say, didn't use this bit either. Pencil sketch, that would have been really quite nice. So, cancel that point. And of course, once you've actually got, you can actually go back to the library, you could, and click back to the library, and it's of course saved over there, and it does it quickly various changes and you can go off and then work on other ones you can of course do individual ones but for this video just want to show you that really it's a really good useful tool if you're looking for something to uh, very rapidly work with multiple folders multiple images and just quickly generate uh, a complete collage of images Picasso is really worth checking out and you might find it useful for your projects I hope you found this quick tutorial of interest or quick run through of Picasso of interest Thank you much.